Hello there, YouTube. We are back with some more match play commentary for y'all. I'm joined by the brother bear, the brother from another mother, and the highwayman himself, TJ. Why Why are they making a live action Lilo and Stitch? What? I need someone to tell me. I forgot they were doing this. I heard about it forever ago. I forgot they were doing it. Then the first first screenshots of it are leaking. He looks cute. Like Stitch looks like Stitch, but it's just got me like. There's screenshots? What? Oh. Yeah, there is. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. While I go like dig up this monstrosity that's sure to happen. We've got some match play commentary for you guys. Um, these are filmed over at Sully's Abode, which is the local car shop that we go to every Thursday for Digimon. Uh, we pop off at about 6.30 p.m. every Thursday. So if you're in the Chicago... Oh my God, he looks crazy. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> They are located in Bolingbroke, Illinois. So if you're in the Chicagoland area, want to check us out or just check out the shop out, uh, feel free to drop by. I will drop their TCG player link down in the video description below. So do support the shop. I will also drop our socials, which are the best place to find the decklist of our players. Um, this particular matchup, which we'll talk about in a quick second, is definitely a spicy one. So if you're looking for the decks that are played in today's video, check out our Discord. It's been a great place to talk about deck building and deck crafting. So we hope to see you there. But speaking about today's matchup, we've got Sunny on the left and Mike on the right, both playing their own respective versions or iterations on Purple Hybrid. Um, and this is a little bit of a deviant from like Mike's previous like Magna Garumon uh, deck just to be clear because I did kind of mislabel that originally as we we're uploading it that, that that was more like purple Magna Garumon. This is like purple hybrid purple hybrid. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into this bad boy. Man, he is kind of cute. Man. I'm still no, looking at Stitch. They I'm did sorry. A, they did a decent. They did a decent job with his model. It just got me. It's just, at least it wasn't like Sonic when he first came out. That, oh, yeah, that was bad. But then they that, fixed it. That got me crazy. Good. Yeah, they made it good. They made it good. Dude, Sonny's purple hybrid build. Oh man. Well, Sonny's sleeves. Emotional oh, damage man. I suffered. Albedo. Yeah, he's got. He got the mm. right sleeves. He got the good sleeves. Oh right, so my start. goodness. Let's drop a Keenan Cryer right out the gate. Um, Mike will go ahead and pitch uh, Jack Raid to stop mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sunny from getting a memory there. That's not a bad card, actually. Ooh, pull in the back, drop a Gazi, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah, ooh. And so there, kind of some interesting stuff with this right now, right? Yeah. So Mike is playing uh, purple base, mm -hmm. uh, while Sunny's playing red base. Um, red base's benefits are that they have the really good draw engine with the Koro. Um, as well as access to pretty much every floodgate you could want for this current meta. Um, meanwhile, Purple Base has some of the consistency with uh, Demi Mera being able to pitch a card to draw to help like set up your trash and everything. Um, so a lot of like really interesting stuff. We do seem to just drop the Kaiser Leo to pop the the Dusk one. That's all right. Okay, fair enough. You know that's that's a cool thing about Purple Hybrid. You know, the more that I I know we both have been kind of talking about like putting it together and whatnot, but like reading the cards, mm -hmm. seeing it in action, like there's so much flexibility to it. You know, I think this is the like only archetype of hybrids that have like an on play. A lot of them are when evoing, they have an effect, but a lot of these purple yeah. hybrid stuff, there's actual like on play abilities too, which is really, really neat. Um, yeah. And it kind of fits in with a typical purple archetype of just like toolboxy, yeah. But Mike's got a lot of setup going on on his side of the board. We do see Sunny is going to be able to push some good aggression this turn. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, that's that's kind of the cool thing with purple hybrid is like once you have like the core in there with the purple hybrid cards, be it you know leaning more lowy uh, side or dusk side. Yeah. Um, the rest of the build is really just whatever you want to do. You can pick whatever colors of cards you want to try and synergize with it. It's very, very customizable. And the deck itself is very toolboxy with how you can make your plays. It's really cool. It's yep. really, really fun. So we see um, Sunny here swing with a Lowy. Yeah. Uh, we'll just do a check. It does live. It does draw for draw the Coromon. We go into a Lowy for three. Yeah, off the top of the Keenan. We'll reduce the Evo. Of yep. And then Lowy, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, he's draw one trash one, right? Yeah, and he has the same one attacking effect as Dusk, pretty much where when he swings, you can Evo into a, hy a purple hybrid card from his trash. Or not, I don't even know if that's a purple hybrid, I think it just has to be a... Purple Digimon card uh, from trash. Yeah. Yeah. 
Basically, he can even own the Kaiser Leo from the trash. That's what <laughs> um, man, and we go into a Rihi here, who is a really, really good card. Rihi having inherent jamming is crazy. Um, Mike responds by going into a Loimon off of the um, new Koichi. Yeah. Which he can, he can when swinging, go ahead and add back a uh, a hybrid. Mm -hmm. um, it was trash thanks to the Koichi effect. You know, he does have to be careful about aces here. Sitting on the Rihimon on sunny side is pretty spooky. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Jack okay, we're gonna Jack right here. We'll gain one memory, I believe. One memory, yep. Yeah, so we gain one. Up to three, so what's the next play here? Oh. Go into our own Rihi. We'll be able to play Timber, but no Timber to play out. Ooh, Sendril. Sendril. Okay. okay. Sendril will spit out a token. Uh, we'll overclock to minus 3k on one, and then minus 6k on something else. Uh-huh. Or something like that. I'm not too sure exactly how that splits up. What is central minus? Is it minus more than that? I thought it was only. I think it's there's. I think a part of effect too is like when one of your Digimon tokens gets, gets deleted. Well, the token like, minus is three. Right. Oh, he did minus four off of the the Rehees. The Rehe, right, 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 right. Yeah. So he did minus six and minus four on that, and then minus three on the Boko. Okay, right. that makes more sense. So good board clear there. Well, uh, near board clear. And that's that's the crazy thing about um, purple hybrid too is that because it is like purple and yellow, you get access to a lot of these ace cards like you mentioned. You also have access to really good just standard yellow level sixes like Sendril. We saw a Venus that got put into trash. That's also really good in this yeah. deck. So you can run like uh, yeah. Shadow Seraphi. You can run mm. Valkyrie Ace. Yeah, a bunch of those really powerful like yellow ace cards as well over your Rihis. But while we've been yapping, Sunny's had some really good aggression here with his pokes, go to Venus. big guy living, and then Venus just to kind of shut yes. down the turn oh. for for what he is threatening his game next turn. Yeah, so no one did evolving or one attacking effects, mm -hmm. which is pretty tough. We do spit out our token start of main. Now the token can potentially die in minus three K, but he cannot swing at the Venus with that stack, so he's kinda stuck. Right. But we'll go in the back here. I mean, this is pretty tough. I mean, Mike's kinda just locked out this turn. There's really mm -hmm. not much he can do here. Yeah, I mean he is going into a Duskmon here, it looks like for two. Yeah, no effect. Can't use the one attacking either, so we can't go into a Velger if there's trash. Yeah, I mean, I think your we'll best bet Rihi. here is to go Rihi to pick maybe something up and then threaten we'll the potential ace out. card. End of turn, we will just go ahead and uh, pop attack the token to delete the token and then just kill off the Gotsu, which is pretty good. Yeah. But I mean, Sunny could just have game here. I just, I mean, all he needs to do, there's no blocker on mm -hmm. uh, Mike's side. He does have a potential ace play there sitting with the um, with the Rihi. Yeah. So Venus does need to be careful. That is a good art for Venus too. Heroin box. Yeah. Okay, so we'll swing. We'll minus 4k on the Psychmon to kill it. Mike now has the uh, option to ace play. We'll opt not to. We'll hit the Kaiser Leo out of security here. Mm -hmm. The new Koichi, I think is really really good you know being able to yes. pitch a card start a main not only just to set up your trash like for example like most purple hybrid players will look to be trashing a velger which you always want in trash i i don't see a yeah. situation where you like want to evo into it um, yeah, unless you're doing least. dustmon's effect right um yeah. And then getting a memory just to ensure that you can do, like, even if your opponent chokes you to one, being able to just pitch a card, set up your trash, go into a Duskmon for two, and then go Velgar for free is crazy. So purple, yellow, so trash four, I believe. Trash three, right? Trash three. Okay, yeah. so he made it. Okay, because it should have been purple. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, just one call. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we do go Shadow Raffi Ace here. Mm -hmm. And then... And then I, don't know. I think Mike I don't concedes. Know can. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because that's fair, right? Because if he shadows Serafi's AC, he digivolves three minus five K, but like he 
I think Sunny still could probably. What goes back down to a tamer? Do you have enough memory to go into another hybrid? Oh, I honestly am really confused. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> I really don't know. Because he didn't have retail on the stack. Hmm. I don't know who won. I, think, I guess. Oh, no. End of attack. Velger would pop the lowest level, right? But Velger wouldn't matter because he gets digivolved. That's true. I don't know what happened is just digivolves three and then he blocks it. But he goes back down to a tamer, so maybe... I don't know, because Mike didn't have to block there either technically. He could just put it down to a tamer and then the attack just stops because the tamer can't attack. So, um, I believe Sunny of them would just have to evil up and then get around it like that. I don't know. I'm not too sure what just happened. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll figure find it out. out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this goes to a game three. So, we'll, and we'll know no, yeah, for this, sure who this won the This goes to a game three for sure. You'll be able to put in post to who won that game. I don't mm -hmm. really know if Sunny conceded or Mike conceded. I'm, I'm I'm also with you. I'm assuming Mike conceded because he was at zero security. Mm-hmm. Um, um, well, we start off with a BT7 Koichi from Sunny pitching a Keenan to draw or drawing a card and then pitching a Keenan. And then Mike responds with an Uko in the back and a new Koichi. Yeah. Shamanman or Shamanman goes out and swings, yeah. draws off of the security check, hits a Velger. A pretty Velger. Yep. Yeah, you can go ahead and just drop another Shamanman here. Just to kind of stop any sort of potential memory shenanigans from Digimon effects. Man, Red's got a lot of floodgates lately. Yeah, it Go does. to it was, Shaman Mon. Past couple of sets have definitely set them up. They needed something, man. Red has not been that doing well as, as a <laughs> as a color for a hot second here now. Um, so we see some decent setup here. Oh Mike. yeah, does yeah. Swing. Does check a mat. Nothing to grab out of the trash there though. Mm -hmm. No purple Digimon and no option. All right, so we see a Duskmon we'll come out dusk. from Koichi. He has the Velger and Trash, so he can go ahead and choose to make the Tamer a different color. Mm -hmm. Okay, this swing, Evo here. I'm assuming he made the Tamer a different color, so that there's three different colors here. Yep, so they mill three, yeah, so did we'll mill be... a Deathslinger, so he should have gained a memory as well. So we'll check at 13. End of attack, he'll delete Velger to go ahead and pop the Shamamon. And then Dusk Effect on Deletion will let him play a Tamer out from uh, Trash. So he'll go ahead and play out the other Koichi, which will let him draw one and trash one. We seem like debating on what he wants to trash here. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, it looks like Treasure Rihi. Rihi. And, and now how does I think he does her? forget okay. about the Deathslinger, which would have put Sunny to th three as opposed to four. Maybe we'll see if it matters or not, but um, the the, uh, the it got milled when Shaman Mom was on the board before it was gone, so he didn't gain a memory. I can read. I promise. It's end of attack for Revolver. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sunny just kind of has to look over his choices now. What are your thoughts on red base versus purple base? So I think you um, played against Sunny, right? Last night? Red base is me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we could call it that. I mean, it went to game three. It wasn't that sure. bad. But, like, the um, Sunny was even saying, like, red base is just, like, the perfect thing to... It just, it, like, it completely shuts out Lord Knight. Lord Knight cannot do anything. Because they just get a Gotsu on board and... Uh, a uh does it a deathslinger does die there if they get a go, a go to and a shamanmon on board unless you see your deltamons you're just stuck as lord knight you don't get to play the game it also really can shut down imperial too because they can't gain memory off the level fours they can't play off their daikins mm -hmm. like sunny's basically just running full floodgate low end package so that way he can just sort of build up his resources and push aggression with his uh his hybrids um and even then he still gets like plenty of decent chip with all the floodgates too whenever he, he really wants to if he needs to to get some chip in to, to close up the game for like the, that turn or the turn after. Sure. Um, sure, sure, sure. But yeah, it's it's very, red base I think is very consistent on top of that. It also draws very well off the Koro. Um, I, I do personally, I'm personally running purple base just because I want more consistency with being able to play my options. Mm -hmm. um, on top of that, I think the purple base is better at trash setup just naturally because of the cycle with the eggs, with the Demi Maras. Sure. Um, ooh, that's tough. Oh dude. my. Uh, but that being said, I'm not uh, ignorant to the fact that red base also has its benefits too. Um, 
I think it's really just it depends on like the meta. I think it's probably the end of the day, and, like what you're gonna be playing against. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, sure. But it, I, I, I can see the argument for like red base edging out purple base right now with how everything's looking uh, over here in the English version of the card game. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so Mike so go goes dusk. into a Duskmon. We'll go ahead and swing, use effect to Evo into a Velger from Trash. Yeah, um, we're both middle top four. Mm hmm. Because there's. Just change the color of the mat. Yeah. Because we have white, red, purple, and whatever color you made the other mat. Mm hmm. End of attack, you will delete the Velger to go ahead and clear the board there. We'll be able to spit out a Tamer. Spit it's wild. That, like, change color is it's so crazy. It's really good. And it's until the end of your opponent's turn. Yeah, right? so, so they can't even, like, utilize. If you. Play your colors right you essentially lock them out of an evo as well yeah and so we have him just sitting there we'll be able to play a tamer back out from Jeez. trash that's pretty um, good now, i mean mike if he has a venus i think this is the perfect time we get an so uko instead not maybe just, just, just hard drops an uko i mean the good thing is the emperor does not stop mike here at all with that memory setter mat out on the board on top mm -hmm. of the um he also gained. I thought that too. He'll just recover the memory off of the with the Koichi and the uh, the Gabu. Right. This is a hill for Sunny to climb right now, and he does have to be careful of uh, Ace Threat from the Rihi being on board. True. 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 So pretty, pretty good. Yeah, Sunny debating what he wants to do here. He also can only Evo over one of his mats right now. It's his only real Tamer target. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. We'll have to Evo for a cost of three. Goes into Dusk. We'll change the color of Rihi Mon. Um, to something else, which I guess does does shut off the ace play here. Mm -hmm. Matt's back to normal purple tamer. We'll go ahead and swing. Looks like he will do the Velger play, which we will choose to mill top four. Yeah. So he's a big 15k guy. Hits a Kaiser Leo in trash. Then end of attack, he will... Choose to delete himself so we can delete the Ukos. And then we'll be able to spit out a Tamer here. Can you spit out the Tamer that was in the stack or no? Uh, For Dusk's, yes, because Dusk is on deletion, not uh, not all turns. Mm -hmm. So Duskmon basically, it results when you're in the trash, right? So you can play right. the Tamer that was under him from trash because you're all there. I think that's just some, that was something I wanted to point out for... Like, it's a very nuanced thing that can definitely change some of your lines of play. So definitely be aware of that if you are looking to play Purple Hybrid. Yeah, we do see a similar play here from Sunny going into his own... Rihi. Uh, Rihi. Uh, oh, never mind. No, there's no there's no Kaiser Leo in Trash. He only has Lowy. Mm, that's rough. Oof. So he does not have a means of stopping... Uh, are setting up an ace play. The goat Suman is not enough to really do anything here. Yeah, looks like Sunny will just and concede looks like Sunny here. scoops. Okay, so then I guess yeah. So Mike did concede game one. Now we know. <laughs> now we for sure know. And we go to game. Go to game three. Game three. Man, purple hybrid. I mean, we talked about this a lot yesterday too. But it looks, the more I see it in play, the more I see it in like actual match play. The more I'm like, dang, this is like super consistent. Like you cycle so much with this deck and you can pitch and set up your trash pretty much the way you want to. It's it's a really, yeah. really consistent deck. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff you can do. Um, and then on top of that too, like the board control that you have, not just with your hybrids, right? Because we talked about, you know, um, Kaiser being able to pop level four, as we talked about Velger being able to pop the lowest level, but I mean, like a decent amount of purple hybrid lists also run like Rivals Barrage, Deathslinger, so like, and Jack yeah. Raid too, which are like crazy security bombs to have to play around. Yeah, they can do a lot. They can definitely change the tide of a game, especially the later you go in. Um, All right, so Mike dropped the Memory Setter mat, which is a decent start, and then Sunny responds by playing out two Koichis. And he just gets his trash set up, has a Rihi and a Velger in there, which is pretty good. So now I think if you're Mike, you just want to uh, opt to try and choke to one every possible turn just to make sure that Sunny does not have a play in Great. his book. Um, we do evil for mm. three into the low. We will draw one trash one. Okay. Trash 
This is the Rehi. Trash or Rehi. Okay. We'll swing here. Mm. Evo into the Rehi for three. Okay. Should be able to Evo for two because he has a yellow. Uh, uh, I, or, uh, a purple and yellow. Or he's a purple yellow hybrid. So there's a little bit of, I think, a misplay on Mike's part because he didn't have to pay the four Evo cost. He could have paid the three. Yeah. So we see Sunny respond with a Shamamon in the back and then a Loimon on top of one of the Koichis. Go ahead, swing, go into his own Rihi for three. Yeah. Looks like he's swinging. Oh, they're just crashing. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. He gets his Tamer back out of it because all turns he would have been deleted. Thanks to Loi Inheritable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think both players just trading blows a little bit. Mike has to use his mat, unfortunately, to go on top of Loli for three. And then looks like he will pitch a Sendro. And swings yeah. with the Loli to go into a purple Did Digimon card from the trash. Yep. Plays out of um, BT7 Koichi. Koichi. Checks Calls a dust one out of security. Yeah. So we see Sunny with Re being able that to that play out a tamer is really nice too. It's crazy. It's super nice. Super super nice. Does it a, a, a Duskmon out of security? Hmm. Okay, so Koichi into Loi. We're we just doing it again. We're we just gonna crash again. Do it. Do it. Just Koichi is deciding what he wants to do here. The, the problem is, if you decide to crash, you do worry. You have to worry about that ace threat. I think whether you swing into it or into security, the ace threat is always real here. No ace play, though. So we see um, Sunny be able to play out the Koichi time. and hit an Uko out of security, which is pretty solid. Yeah. Fortunately, man, if Mike had that Sendromon in hand still, instead of having to trash it earlier, mm -hmm. this would have been a really good time for Sendro. Yeah, yeah. Mike's for the first, just kind of see what he can do. If he has a Duskmon in hand, I think his best bet is to Evo over the Koichi and change the color of the Rihi so that it can't ace Evo. Right. Um, but unfortunately, so he maybe does not have a Duskmon or something. Yeah. Yeah, that could be rough. Play Ooh, okay. All right. Okay, we just go Venus. Just go Venus, lock down the, the Rehi. Make sure no effects are gonna come out of that. I mean, so when attacking with Digivolving effects will not activate for the time being. Not bad. Go ahead, start a main pitch one to gain a memory here. Looks like Sunny does not have a rookie for the back at the moment. Or stuff Matt. Grab back a Dustmon. Okay. Chokes right. to, chokes Mike to one, which is pretty good. Both but players are doing a very, very good job of like just choking each other. Yeah. But I think this I think this turn is really what edges it out for Sunny. Right mm -hmm. now. I mean with all the tamer sources he has, resources he has right now. Yeah. The Rehi yeah. big chillin. We are gonna see the ace play here. Yep. Yep, Shadow Seraphi. We'll go ahead and Digivolve three there. So it goes back down to a tamer, so it just goes back to the board. Oh, he chooses to do two, then minus 5k by blocking. Mm. Okay, gotcha. Makes sense. Smart, Smart play. play. Okay, this is wipe Mike's board. Mike yeah. is now really on the back foot. This is really tough. Yeah, Sunny's in a very good spot right now. Um, and we can definitely see, like, Purple Hybrid Loop go on with this next turn here. Yeah. Because he's guaranteed three, if not four, memory. Mike does jack right here. here. Uh, we'll gain one memory. One, yeah. Get Evo over Koichi. Hmm. Does have a, a. I don't know if he has a Velgren trash though. Okay, we'll pay two. Yeah, Evo Goes dusk, dusk here and draw. So he's got one, two, three, four. Okay. Four colors, so mill four each if he does do the play. Yeah. Yellow, black, purple, and whatever color the mat is now, yeah. Mm. 
I think there's no Velger in no trash. No Velger in trash, which is rough. Duskwan does not set himself up as well as like Lowy can with being able to pitch a card. Mm -hmm. We will swing Dusk. Effect. Let's see. So he can go into a Digimon or he can go into a level four card with a hybrid trait in the trash with a Digivolution cost reduced by one. Yeah. Looks like he's going to choose to go into... Riki, I think. What yeah, has we'll to be... Here. It has to be level 4? Right? Yeah, it does have to be a level 4. He cannot Evo into... He can't uh, Evo into a Rihi. Rihi. Yeah, I think only Loey can actually Evo into Rihi. Yeah. Dust can specifically only go into Velger. Yeah. So it is a bit of a misplay on uh, Mike's part here. But I don't think it is going to necessarily matter. No, because I don't think anything game changing happens to Sunny's board here. The Seraphiace is still alive. He's got all the resources in the world here. Even if the mat is a different color, he still is in a very good spot. Yeah. So he did pitch a card. It looks like he pitched a Velger from the Koichi to gain the memory. And here you can just kind of pop off, right? Yeah, you go Dusk. You can do Dusk's effect to change the color of Koichi. Yeah. Mike's end. And then in theory, I would assume you just go ahead swing here. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so yeah, he huh? is running... Uh, uh, I can't remember why am I blinking on the Atomic Infernos. Uh, because I mean, it's a bunch of hybrids and he has red base, so it just gives him extra aggression. Does check a Death Slinger out of security here. Um, he does have enough cards to pop, I believe, a level five or lower. Mm -hmm. So we'll pop the Dusk here. No on deletion inheritable, so no Tamer to play back out from that. A Boko in the back. A Boko Mans. We'll swing the Lowy. I guess I didn't want to give him the memory, maybe. Yeah. Lowy goes into Kaiser for one. We do one check. We end up dying. We gain the memory back. Yep, yeah, Unleashing Hope. He put the memory to the wrong side, that's all. Or not. Or not, or not. Because he should have gained off of Koichi, right? Uh, No, because the Lowymon spits out the... The tamer before, um, mm. before mm. it actually, because because uh, Koichi is a non deletion, right? Um, and Loey spits out before they're actually deleted, so it never actually goes into the trash to see its effect. Oh, Can, interesting. Did that Boko just evo for one in the back? Is that what he did? No, I have no, no. idea how he. I don't see how he passed the one, but that's fine. The We're missing all Seraphie. all kinds of stuff this game. It's fine. <laughs> Shadow Seraphi gets just hard played out for seven. We did did evolve three. Uh, we should gain some overflow here. So four overflow yeah. goes towards Mike, and then we pass over to three. Which, again, I think Purple Hybrid still can do a little bit, but not having one of the uh, new Koichis that allows you to pitch and gain a memory is a little tough. Yeah. The Gazi is still really good here. Yeah. But, I mean, you've got plenty of resources here because you... Essentially, can just go ahead and swing, I would believe here, just with swing Boko, right? And if Mike chooses to block or redirect, yeah, Dusk gets minus 5k, but like you don't kill it. When it's minus 5k for the turn, mm -hmm. something to keep in mind too. So it could yeah, come yeah. up. It, it could. It can just render. It can just render. Uh, 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 Velger uh, useless. It Is Velger 5k? DP boost not too great. He does let it through. We'll swing Dusk. Wait. How did he gain the memory Blocks. from the... Oh, because he'd block it, the non-deletion gain a memory off of the... Uh, the oh, so sure. So then he'd go sure. back to two, sure, and then sure, he'd be yeah. able to evo and swing again. And just goes again. All right. Well, that'll yeah. do it. Players um, just... They're, they're talking about states more than we are. We're, we're trying to play catch-up. That's all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
No, I mean, and I mean, purple decks, there's always a lot of stuff popping off. So just bear with us. And purple hybrid is a deck that goes really fast too, as we have seen here. A lot of fast cycle, a lot of fast, just like recursion. And it's definitely going to be a very strong player, I think, in this upcoming meta. At the time of recording, it is the day before uh, Core TCG's regional. Uh, this video will probably go up, I believe, the day after the regional itself. But I would be super interested to see you know, how this is going to shape up. I, I do think it's going to be a very purple meta, or at least a very purple regional with Lord Knight and Purple Hybrid running around. I wouldn't be surprised if that comprises of what, like, I'd probably say like 50% of top 16. I wouldn't be surprised. I, I think I think we'll see at least a third of it will be Purple Hybrid at the top. That or uh, Lord Knight probably up there. Yeah, so these are two decks that are definitely um, at the top of the meta and definitely good to know. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And we'll see you on that flippy flip. Bye-bye.